Alright, so now we're on F2, uh, PSO, episode 1 and 2. Welcome, um, if you are just now viewing my videos, um, this is my Humar, Le Oolong. Uh, he's level 2 currently right now, and uh, we're on the second part of the force on normal mode. These little uh, message box right here, these are messages that uh, Red Ring Lingo, which is the principal's daughter, left for me to find and to search her with. So um, it's pretty cool. Adds a you know, nice little subplot to the story. Get knocked out there. said just uh, you use the chat window um, as your helper to help you be able to control your enemy powers. Just gain a level again. And then also notice um my items for that particular item is full mono fluids are full so I can't pick it up so I end up having to just leave it there on the ground. Um, sometimes you end up uh, finding items that, you know, like a mono fluid or a mono made that um, you can't use because your items are full. What you can do is just use the item if you have a room available to, or if not, just bypass it. And, uh, this is a prime example of what I was talking about. This is the barbarous wolf. I'm going to kill him first. Uh, I didn't give the enemy a chance to howl, but yeah, what happens is, when, like I said, when you kill the barbarous wolf, the secondary um, wolf, the savage wolf, will howl and he'll pretty much be de defense down and uh, power down. Alright, now in this room, this is uh, actually um, a part of the game as well too. Um, within each of the three stages before you get to the final stage, you find these tall columns. Um, and uh, supposedly when you read the message, it says it's to commemorate Pioneer 1, but technically that's not really it. Uh, you have to activate all, th all three of the columns to be able to enter the ruins and to be able to get to the final stage of the game. So that's one column that you have to enforce one. Uh, you'll find two other columns and uh, the next two stages and then that will actually open the uh, grand entrance to the final stage. I'm actually, uh, as you see, I keep popping up my start menu window. What I'm doing is I'm checking to see my items to check to see if they're full. Because uh, once they get full, I want to go back to P2 and uh, actually stock up, um, sell off a lot of items that I'm not going to use, and purchase some items that I will use, preferably um, some food for my Mac, because I haven't had my Mac yet. Trying to catch this rabbit, but uh, probably won't happen here. I'm gonna, yeah, swing at it and miss. 
Um, normally, if you had a technique like Zonda, um, especially in the beginning, you would probably end up catching it. Foy and Barda are too slow at this point, so a level 1 Foy or Barda wouldn't work. Um, Foy is fire, Barda is uh, uh, ice technique, and then um, Zonda is a lightning technique. I'm checking out the percents on uh, some of the weapons to see which ones I want to use, which one I want to use. This is the Giggle Booma, that's the stronger form of the three, the Booma, Go Booma, and now you have the Giggle Booma. So they're gonna give you the hardest time between the three. I'm trying to pick up that soul atomizer, but I'm guessing from the fact that I can't pick it up that my items are now full. So what I'm gonna actually do now is uh, get ready to pipe back to P2. And uh, you do this by just using the telepipe, scroll down, look for it. Um, or you can um, just use the shortcut menu and then go to it from there, which is what I'm doing right now. Alright, time to sell some items. So what I did was automatically um, sorted out the items so I could look at them easier and just figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't want to keep. Uh, you saw that dagger had 25% on B, so I might end up keeping that futuristically, seeing how I'm going to the cave next. And most of the monsters that are there are going to be beast type. I'm just going to show this just one time in my tutorials, just as far as what I mean by selling items and stuff, selling items that you can't keep, keeping the ones that you want to keep, checking out the percentages. So that's what I'm doing right now, just uh, deleting out weapons um, and keeping the ones I want to keep. Um, and then purchasing the ones that I need to get, I need to get that Barda, um, and uh, yeah, that that's going to come in handy, the Zonda and the Anti. The anti is a healing technique. It goes along with Resta, um, and uh, those are gonna be one that heals your energy. The other one heals your um, abnormal statuses, meaning if you are paralyzed, poisoned, uh, shocked, uh, which is a temporary state of uh, non-movement, um, confused, or if you're uh, given to slow by enemies. So that one, um, depending on the level that you have of the anti, is designed to help cure that status. Alright, time to deposit Merceda. I also bought antidotes to feed my mag, so that was a very key thing to do, is time to feed the mag and to give it um, what it needs. So I bought antidotes, and the reason why I bought antidotes is because, like I said, I want to raise the attack accuracy on the Humar um, first and foremost. Um, hunters are going to gain power gradually, but um, they lack Power. Where they lack in um, ATA, you know, they make up in four and power. So right now, I'm um, setting me focusing so much on just power. I want to raise the attack accuracy that way. As I level, I can be more accurate with with my hits, and I'm just still gaining more power as I level as well too. All right, now this is a hill to blue, or or sorry, a hill to bear. Um, I'm attacking it right now, and as you can see, like I said, I'm avoiding it as much as I possibly can. Well, I'm fortunate enough to actually block that attack. Now, like 
like I said, it's just all about maneuvering. Just like trying to, you know, find your rhythm and then uh, being able to attack the enemy on time. And you, you can see I just dodged that wall. I'm look like I just swung openly, but technically I just uh, held the R trigger and I moved the L trigger at the same time to adjust my movement so that way the wolf would miss me when he jumped. And you see, um, once the wolf died, the other wolf cried out and his uh, defense and, uh, and power are, are lowered. Alright. Like I said, trying to find the enemy's blind spot, that's the best way to do it. Hilda Bears especially, they will take a lot of damage from me in one swing. I'm probably the one swing away from dying anyway, so it was very important that I didn't get hit that time. see those items are full so I'm not gonna worry too much about them. I did pick up a barrier so I will keep that. Um, but the ones that you can't pick up just don't worry too much about those. Just go ahead and leave them and uh, continue on. Alright, now this is the switch I was talking to you about in F1. Um, this a, a switch is going to unlock an area um, that I have to go to, where I don't have to go to, but I'm going to go to. As you can see though, the entrance is separate from where the switch is located. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this switch, and then I'm going to go ahead and run to that entrance over there to figure out what's in there. Um, some areas that you go to, um, like I said, they're going to open up an area or a place that you can go, or it's going to open up a small section where you can uh, pick up items. In this particular case, we're going to pick up uh, brown boxed items. Brown box items and versus the gray box items. The brown box items tend to hold um, a lot better equips or weapons or items in general, like star itemizers or moon itemizers versus the regular gray boxes. Not that they don't pop up there, but they tend to pop up more in the brown boxes. So as you can see, I just picked up um, a couple of items. Um, actually, with that last level game, I can use that barter, so I'm going to actually use that. And now uh, check out the items. Now look at that. That's 25% on beast and then 20% on native. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that one on native just because, like I said, we're in the forest. And right now we're fighting native enemies gonna keep that 25% hit or 25% on the beast and keep that for um, caves too just because in the caves um, you fight beast animals Alright, so F1 is officially, or sorry, F2 is officially complete. Um, that's it for the forest at this point. And uh, yeah, we're about to actually go on against a boss here real soon. So, um, that was uh, some quick steps on how to play at least the forest part about it. And uh, now I'm about to go ahead and go against the boss, which is a dragon, and I'll show you uh, how I do that.